So I thought long and hard about how and why it is that we're losing our gun rights. You know, and a lot of people blame the left within our circles and, oh, it's these, it's these damn liberals and their liberal ideas and their naivety or their evil. That's not it. The reason we're losing our gun rights is because we're not giving money to the Patreons of the gun channels on YouTube, people. Look, there's a certain gun channel on YouTube that if you give him $100 a month on Patreon, when you go to SHOT Show, you have the privilege, the outright privilege, to dine with said individual. <laughs> but on the real. Interestingly enough, in my opinion, the reason why we're seeing gun rights whittled away, in the case of Florida, seemingly so rapid, is because of the same issue that caused the Democrats to lose in the last election and caused the Democrats to start losing ground and slipping in discussion. Because of these echo chambers and just people nodding their heads and going along with their little group, we've lost the ability to debate. We've lost the ability to communicate and convince a person of an alternative view. We've lost the ability to adapt to an alternative view ourselves. I believe gun owners, the people that the Second Amendment entrusts with the security of this nation need to take that responsibility that the Founding Fathers left to us seriously. We should have been policing our own all along. The NRA's main job should have been figuring out ways to keep the guns out of the hands of assholes in the first place. Not just say, well, it's every asshole's right to have a gun. Assholes need rights to ha assholes need to have a gun too. That's all well and good, and you got it written down on a nice little piece of paper, right? Well, you see what that piece of paper is worth, can't you? You might as well wipe your ass with it, because the majority, in a heat of passion, is going to be able to sweep something through that that you wouldn't believe, and and all those rights, that that's all well and good. And hell, maybe you'll even win out in the end. You know what? I can, I can carry my machine gun into a library because I have the Second Amendment. Well, that ain't gonna get you, that ain't gonna keep you from getting arrested right then. That ain't gonna keep you from getting convicted in a court and having to appeal to a higher court and appeal to a higher court and appeal to a higher court until you make it to the Supreme Court when you just better hope, you just better hope that they're not doing a creative interpretation of the Constitution. When all the while, the reason why you had a machine gun in that library anyway is because you're a big asshole who likes your toys. You need to speak with some anti-gunners if you're really staunch or if this video is triggering you. And listen to the opinions that they have towards the NRA and towards the gun owners of this country. They see gun owners of this country as lunatics. They see the National Rifle Association as terrorists. And we're not doing anything to combat that point of view. Now you could say something like, you shouldn't have to do that. Well yeah, you shouldn't have to do a lot of things. But sometimes those things are necessary. If we truly are interested in our nation's security, and that being the purpose of the Second Amendment, then we should have been taking that seriously. And hopefully it's not too late to do so. So my appeal to gun owners in the National Rifle Association is let's do a little bit better job of, of policing our own. And I'll give you an example right now. Remember how we were talking about the whole gun truck, gun, truck gun thing and and people show their little pistols and all that shit and they'll say yeah and I keep this in there just in case it's stolen I'm not out too much money that's bad that is bad to arm your enemies is bad I, I can't make this any clearer to arm your enemies is bad that's that, that's the exact same thing as what this other group is trying to do. They're trying to disarm their enemies. And who do they see as their enemies? These people that are going in and doing these mass shootings. So they're trying their best to do what they can to take away those people's weapons and leverage to commit those types of harm. And what's our, what's our argument opposing it? A straw man argument trying to pick apart their argument or come up with because I say so? We need to develop it. communication skills, people. Develop it. <laughs> <laughs> develop communication skills, people. That is all.